Okay, everybody, so look, OBS has their brand new 31 beta 3 up right now, and I believe what I'm about to talk about was actually put in the very first beta, but there's something in this new update for OBS Studio that not a lot of people know about that you can take advantage of if you have an NVIDIA-based graphics card, and I'm talking about the NVIDIA Studio, you know, the, the amazing NVIDIA-enhanced noise removal for a microphone and also the really really good looking background cutout webcam background cutout virtual green screen blurry background all that stuff can be applied to your stuff can be applied to your microphone and webcam directly inside of OBS studio now it's a pretty darn cool effect and I'm going to show you guys and gals so you can get it done right now here okay now just a little heads up here for you all okay before you uh follow along with, with this tutorial I'm going to have all this here down in a pinned comment below for you guys and gals is that you want to go to this NVIDIA website right here and you want to download the audio effects and the video effects toolkit uh, for your generation of cards. So I have an RTX 4080, so I went ahead and grabbed this audio effect kit right here. Same thing for this video effects right here. But if you have a 2000 series, they are both right down here. So again, before you even follow along with this video, go to this website and make sure you grab the toolkit for your respective cards here, okay? But after you do that though, folks, after you do that, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and reactivate my source here for you guys and gals, okay? I'm going to drag this back to the other uh, screen here so you can see what I'm doing. You just click on your webcam source. You hit filters right here. It's going to pop up right here. As you can see, I already have mine enabled here. But to actually add it, all you got to do is hit the little plus sign. You want to click on background blur filter. Go ahead and give it a name. And as you can see, it automatically blurs the background for you now. As you'll see here, this might look a little bit too strong, a little bit too artificial, especially because it doesn't have a natural bokeh roll off the way like an actual large sense sensor camera would. But we can like dial this back just a smidge. I like to take it to around like, you know, 0 0.30. I think that looks a little bit better, not as, you know, not as uh, dramatic, if that makes sense, you know. Now, there might be a bug whenever you go to do this here to where whenever you apply the filter, your webcam source will just go black it, it would just black out but don't worry it's not broken just apply the filter hit close restart obs and then uh it, it will work again okay i have confirmed it to work again numerous times it will be just fine here okay now same thing for the uh green screen you know the virtual background removal green screen whatever you want to call it here okay to apply it the same way here okay so let's say i want to put my camera like back down here in the corner and have that like stereotypical youtuber setup here okay you want to just uh go ahead and click on your uh webcam source again hit filters i'm going to go ahead and delete both of these here so for that background removal all you got to do is a little plus sign then you want to go to uh where's that nvidia background removal and just like that it works beautifully and everybody this is so weird the background removal in my opinion works better and looks better than the fake blur i don't know if you all noticed or not but whenever you have the fake blur enabled and if you move a lot like this here you'll notice a haloing effect around your hands and it might get rid of the virtualized effect but as you can see here though like yeah there is a little bit of slippage here but as far as like the actual cutout even during like movement it looks really good and as far as the whole you know per performance mode or high quality mode on my RTX 4080 there's no issues whatsoever with keeping this on high quality so there's that um, for this threshold here uh, the other night whenever I was streaming over on Twitch by the way if you're not following me over there you really should be I noticed that on my background that I have put up before I start, you know, having the gameplay behind me and everything is that the wording, oh, hey, Terry, on, on the background, it was showing up through my shirt, even though I wasn't wearing green or anything, right? So if that ever happens to you, like if, you know, things behind you are bleeding through you, sit, like sitting there in front, just take this threshold and drag it down until it's gone okay like i like last night i put mine here to around uh 0 0.90 and it was just fine so sometimes the effect can be a little bit too strong just again drag that down till the effect you want is achieved and you should be good to go and look at that like who needs a green screen right it's awesome it looks and again in my opinion i think this somehow looks better 
than the virtualized blur, but like, what do y'all think, huh? Now, normally whenever I'm streaming, I have my air conditioner and stuff on because it gets kind of warm in my office and it, a lot of the times it gets picked up in my, in my microphone, but I don't want to be warm in my office, okay? So there's, a, there's another little filter here I want to show you guys and gals you can apply whenever you install the uh, toolkit for the audio and video stuff from the NVIDIA website, okay? Now, all I'm going to do is go to your microphone of choice, hit filters, and as you'll see here, folks, I actually have directly inside of OBS Studio here, the NVIDIA Noise Removal Plus Room Echo Removal. Like, it's insane. It's actually insane. Now, to apply it like I have here, hit the little plus sign, and it is right here, folks. NVIDIA Audio FX. Just name it. Little drop down. I have mine to the uh, to the uh, NVIDIA noise removal and room echo and just like that it just works like it works flawlessly I'll see you again the way you had to do this here before was you would have to have that NVIDIA broadcast app open in the background and you would have to apply these effects to your sources directly in that app and then you would use those as sources inside of OBS studio but the problem with that, though, was that I don't know about y'all, but the NVIDIA broadcast app, at least on my system, was always buggier than hell. Like I would go to load up an audio effect. It would crash the the uh, broadcast app and that would in turn crash OBS Studio. It would do it mid recording, mid stream, even worse. And the fact that all this stuff is directly built inside of OBS Studio now, in my opinion, it's a much better implementation. Yeah. There are still some bugs like just a second ago. This is my second take of this because uh, whenever I enable the filter again, it actually uh, froze up my entire webcam. So again, there are some bugs still. There are some bugs, yeah. But I think for a beta, just to test it out, I think it does work pretty well. And again, the the blurry background effect, it's a little halo-y on moving objects, but I mean... You got to keep in mind here too though folks that this is only one sensor like one camera and it's not getting any kind of depth information from another you know depth sensing camera or anything like that so the fact that they can do that with just one camera i think looks pretty good and hey it's free so why not right but yeah you know again just thought i would show you guys and gals this in case you all didn't know this was actually a thing you could do directly inside of the new beta for obs studio but yeah if you want to see more content like this here on the channel do me a huge favor give this video thumbed up liked and get subscribed to the channel i would greatly appreciate it as per usual and you know if you have any questions concerns comments sign up in the comments below and i will catch you guys and gals next time